Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by. My name is Heather here with Treasured Hometown. And in my last video, I showed you how to make some of these lovely little crochet hearts. So for this video, I'm actually updating and I'm showing you how to continue on from one of these little hearts to turn them into these fun granny squares so that you could actually use them right from there to create an entire different project off of the squares, piece them together for however you wish to do. Now I do love them because these designs actually create the image to actually float on top of the square. So it's more of a 3D projection off of it, making your projects burst so much more with fun. Now I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Supplies that we're going to need for this video, we'll need a pair of scissors in order to cut our yarn, a darning needle in order to weave in our ends. You can weave them in without a darning needle, but I do find it uh, much easier to use the darning needle. We're still going to be using a four millimeter hook, the same as in the previous video, which showed you how to make just the hearts. And we'll need the same color yarn that we used to do the original hearts for those. And then we'll also need an offset color to offset from the color of the hearts. I am using white and continuing on with the pink from the first video. Now for moving forward, if you followed the last video of how we made our crochet hearts, you can see I've actually made one to that point and did not tie off or anything. So moving forward, in order to do these and turn them into a square, we want to keep the same color as what we did with our heart. And from here, we want to slip stitch into all of your stitches coming across this next cluster of three and then into this chain one space right here before we hit the very top point of the heart. What we're going to do is single crochet into there and then we'll chain three. Then we want to single crochet again into that same space. So basically we just made a small little loop right here. And then going forward, we want to chain five. And we want to work our yarn going behind that little tip point of our heart and coming over to this next chain one space. And we want to put one single crochet, chain three, and then single crochet again into that same chain one space. Then we want to chain five. Now moving forward, we wanna flip our work over so we have the wrong side of our heart facing us. And from here, because yes, there's so many stitches going into that space where we put all of our 13 treble crochets into, we're going to go right into kind of the center and we're going to grab a couple of loops and single crochet into there and then chain three and then into the loops next to it single crochet again so we just made another little loop now if you look we're kind of making like a square throughout the back Check it on the front, make sure you didn't poke all the way through to show your stitches on the back through the front. And then we wanna simply chain five again. And then we wanna repeat again into this next cluster of 13 treble crochets. One single crochet, chain three, And then single crochet into another. Check it on the front. Make sure your stitches aren't showing through and you've grabbed the wrong loops on the wrong side. And 
And then chain five. And now what we're going to do is slip stitch into that first single crochet that we did of the round here in order to join. And from here, we can go ahead and tie off. We're all done with the pink. And if you'd like, you can weave in the ends for the pink right here. But, and I'll be right back in a second and show you how to use with the contrast color to finish turning it into a square. All right, I've weaved in all the ends for our pink and now we want to start with our contrast color but I do want to add that this technique for turning doing this little square onto the back this is not my own design I've seen this numerous different places of being able to turn just whatever little design that you have for especially worked with flowers into a cranny square so I just wanted to let everyone know that one. So now going forward, we want to take our contrast color yarn. I am simply just using white. Now we want to attach our yarn into one of these chain three spaces. And then chain two. And then we want to double crochet into that chain one chain three space and then do one more double crochet into the chain two chain three space now that second chain that we did where we joined and then added two chains that does count as our first chain three of the round so that top that second chain is the top of our first double crochet of this round. Then from here we chain two and then we're going to put three more double crochets into that same chain three space. And then we chain one. Now this chain five space, we're going to work right into the center of that chain five space and we want to do three double crochets into there. And then chain one. Now into our next little chain three space, the little corner, we want to put three double crochets. So we're working a corner here. And then chain two. And then three more double crochets. And then a chain one. And then we simply repeat this going all the way around. So we're going to put three double crochets into the chain five space, a chain one, and then into the chain three. We're going to put three double crochets, a chain two, three more double crochets, and then a chain one. And then work our next corner, three double crochets, chain two, three more double crochets, and 
chain one, and then into our last little space here, our chain five space, we want three double crochets, a chain one, and then into that for chain. So we had our stitch where we joined and then chain two, so that top last chain two, we want to slip stitch into there in order to join. And there we are with our first round for that. All right, now going forward, we're going to add, I'm going to add one more row with this granny squares design. So I'm going to slip stitch into the top of our next two double crochets and then slip stitch into the chain two space, chain three. So this th chain three counts as your first double crochet. And then we want to put two more double crochets into that corner. So that's the chain two space. And then we chain two double crochet three more times into that same chain two space. And then we chain one. So we've just added on another row and we just work our corners like so, just for a standard granny square. And then into our next chain one space, I'm gonna put three double crochets A chain one. Now we have our next chain one space. So three more double crochets. Chain one. Now we're at the next corner. So we want three double crochets. And then chain two three more double crochets because this is the corner. Chain one and then we have two more chain one spaces so each of those gets three double crochets with a chain one in between. Now we're working down the other side. So each chain one gets three double crochets with a chain one in between. And now we're back at the corner. So we finished the chain one. Now three double crochets. Chain two, three more double crochets. Chain one, and then each of these two chain one spaces gets three double crochets. Chain one, three more double crochets. Chain one, and then we're back at the beginning. So we're going to slip stitch into the third chain of our first chain three of our round in order to join. 
And there we are. We can go ahead and tie off. Or if you want, you can actually add another row of the white, making your square part bigger. But I'm actually quite happy with this size. And there we are. You can see our heart actually sits on top of the square more. So that's the very fun of this style of pattern, turning them into granny squares. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a little thumbs up like. Let me know in the comments of what you thought about this. And if you have yet to subscribe, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button. And you will get a notification whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.